Hello everyone, how are you? It's Kei. So uh, in this video, I would like to explain about the Kyushu Ashi. And Kyushu Ashi is actually one of the Ichimoku original teachings and Ichimoku original strategies. So um, I think Kyushu Ashi is uh, rare because um, I searched quickly on the internet, but I hardly saw the information about the Kyushu Ashi. So I hope you learned about the Kyushu Ashi on this video and uh, get the good understanding of what is Kyushu Ashi and also how you can apply Kyushu Ashi on your analysis. So um, let's get started right now. So here we go. Let me switch the screen. Okay. And as usual, a quick disclaimer uh, quickly is that the, uh, this video is basically for uh, educational purposes only. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And also, uh, this is a video session, but if you can please follow the rules and guidelines on the comment box, that would be great. And also, recently, there are so many uh, spam accounts in social media, so please be careful. I never do Telegram, I don't have Instagram, I don't do Facebook and I never send a direct messages to anyone on the social media. So please be careful. So yeah, again, Kyushu Ashi. So uh, first of all, let me introduce one web page that I just created because uh, in there you can download the Kyushu Ashi uh, PDF for free. So. This is a web page. I will put the link on the below description. So click on the link and you can access to this web page. Or uh, you can actually access to free download. And this web page is actually here. Kyushu Ashi Book Free Edition. So if you, you simply click on download and you can download the PDF. Looks like before I capture this video, there are already 31 downloads. So it looks like people are curious about the Kyushu Ashi book. And after you download, also Kyushu Ashi indicator is uh, available in the trading view. So by uh, simply click on the link here, I created my own Kyushu Ashi indicator for tra trading view. So click this link and add to your favorite on this uh, indicator. And you can start to use the Kyushu Ashi from now on. And this is actually a free version of the PDF. And if you like the complete version, it's available for the Ichimoku community. So if you're interested to join, to get the depths of the Ichimoku, you're always welcome to join my Ichimoku community. So let me get this uh, PDF. Okay, so here's how it looks like the PDF. Kyushu Ashi. And in Japanese or Chinese character, it looks like this. The first one it says Q. Q means nine in Japanese, and Shu means weak in Japanese, and Ashi means candlestick in Japanese. So Kyushu Ashi means nine weak candlesticks as a direct translation. And the Kyushu Ashi looks like this. It looks like kind of like a Heikin Ashi or Renko Ashi, but uh, it's something different. So let me explain what it is and also how you can apply Kyushu Ashi on your analysis. So let me just go scroll down. So I will cover chapter 1 to chapter 4. And below chapter 5 to chapter 8, these are available for the Ichimoku community as a complete version of this PDF. So first, uh, let me explain what is Kyushu Ashi after all. So let me enlarge, let me zoom in like this. So um, basically, so Kyushu Ashi means nine weak candlesticks. So, and that is because Kyushu Ashi was introduced to analyze the weekly uh, time frame. And this is one of the Ichimoku original strategies. Um, and this Kyushu Ashi was introduced on the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo weekly. So there are seven volumes total in Ichimoku original books, and one of them is Ichimoku Kinko Hyo Weekly. So that's where uh, this uh, Kyushu Ashi was introduced. 
And the reason why Goichi Hosoda introduced uh, Kyushu as she was because uh, back in those days there was no PC, so everything was handwritten, and uh, the people, the traders back then, had to track the four price, which are open and close and high and low. You know, when they are looking at the daily chart, they have to do this every day, every single day. They have to mark, they have to track these four price levels. Plus, if they are using also Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, they have to come up with the, the other five price levels, which are uh, Senko Span AB and Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen and Chikou Span. So, five plus nine price levels, that will be, uh, sorry, five plus four price levels, that will be nine price level as total they have to track every day, which is a bit of a work, especially if they are a full-time worker. Uh, people start to claim that they don't have enough time to do this. So that's why Goichi Hosoda introduced Kyushiashi to make it simple and easy to draw as a part of the Ichimoku strategy. But still, by using Kyushiashi, they can at least capture which way the market's going, whether it's bullish or bearish. And that's the idea of the Kyushu Ashi. However, as Goichi Hosa also mentions that you can't trade just by the Kyushu Ashi. You know, Kyushu Ashi is only to capture a bigger picture of the market, just to get the bigger picture of the weekly trends, weekly trend directions, and that's it. So if you want to trade, you always have to use the five lines of Ichimoku and also the price actions. That's why it recommends. And that's actually what it says here. On the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo weekly book, he says the essence of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is introduced in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo complete book. So Ichimoku Kinko Hyo complete book introduces the five lines of Ichimoku and the three theories. Three theories are wave theory and time theory and price theory. So Ichimoku Kinko Hyo complete book explains that. And he says, therefore, basically, you should focus on the information in the complete book, whenever and whatever markets you watch. And uh, the pros of the weekly Kinko Hyo may be uh, to be able to win profits uh, without doubts and thoughts and much efforts. So here he says, weekly Kinko Hyo means this Kyushu Ashi is very simple. And um, you can win profits easily because simply you follow the weekly, uh, I mean, Kyushu Ashi direction. You keep holding until it ends and most likely you will be profitable. That's what he means. So it's very simple uh, to win profits in, without any doubts and thoughts. You simply follow direction and that's it. But uh, it can be harmful for you success before mastering what's written in the Ichimoku Complete Book. So he says... Here he says again, uh, you have to know the basics of the five lines and three theories, and then you can take advantage of this Kyushiashi the most. That's what he says. So, um, yeah, so if you are busy uh, every day, and if you don't have enough time to check charts, if you don't have time to analyze each line of the Ichimoku lines and the price actions, you can look at the Kyushu Ashi and at least get the understanding of roughly which way the market's going or roughly when the market turns from bullish to bearish or bearish to bullish by Kyushu Ashi. And that is possible with this strategy. So that's what I introduced today. Okay, so here is how Kyushu Ashi is formed. And this is very much different from the candlestick and other um, candlestick strategies. This is not about the... This is different from Heikin Ashi or Renko Ashi. So here says Kyushu Ashi consists of a close price of the current candlestick. So Kyushu Ashi, as the name says, you better take the weekly time frame. So current price close means the current week candlestick close. Right, so it takes a close price of this week this week's candlestick and also the open start price of nine weeks back so for example when it's bearish market 
there is a um, close price being here of this is the current forming market close price is here and open price was nine candles backwards this was open so this is open of i mean this is uh in that case this is the open and this is close so you have this kyushu ashi like this and as a result it becomes bearish kyushu ashi yeah? and when it's bullish it's very versa when it's bullish you have this um close price of this week and you have this uh open start price of nine candles backwards so and here please remember that you have to take this current candlestick as one not zero so including this current this forming candlestick it should be nine candles in the past so that means this one is one and this is number two this one is number three and number four five six seven eight and this one becomes nine exactly on ninth candlestick uh, open start price you shift the start price to the current candlestick and you have this bullish kyushu ashi like this on the red so kyushu ashi is again very simple it just takes the close price of this week and open price of the nine weeks ago and that's it and then you you see the uh, candlestick or kyushu ashi like this so if you look at the price it looks like this if you like the, look at the candlesticks it, it looks like this and as for the candlesticks you know this was bearish and here it turns there, there was also like a engulfing candle inside bar sorry outside bar and the market broke bullish this outside so you know that this was this this was the turn of bearish to bullish right and according to kyushuashi also it captures the term beautifully here like uh the market has been bearish but exactly here it turns to bullish and this bullish um, market continues afterwards so visually it's so easy to identify from bearish to bullish and bullish to bearish by the kyushuashi and that's what the kyushuashi offers to us so um and um, this is how I overlaid the Kyushu Ashi and also the candlesticks. And sorry, there are some misalignments. Like these small parts are a bit misaligned. But uh, if you can get the rough idea of how they are different and how Kyushu Ashi is formed, and uh, that will be great. So you can look into it, open and close of this candlestick and open nine weeks backwards and you will have this kyushu ashi and beautifully captures the market turns exactly between these two weeks yeah and also uh there is another uh way to to predict uh whether kyushu ashi will be bullish or bearish which was introduced on the original book and let me introduce that strategy that's actually chapter three, applying Kyushu Ashi in trading. So since um, Kyushu Ashi takes the open price of the nine candles back, you can plot them in the future, to the future before the market forms. So for example, um, so, so let's assume that this is this week, right? And next week, you don't see the market yet. You don't see the candle yet. Uh, of next week but next week you know the open price from the Kyushu Ashi because it was nine weeks back so nine weeks back the open was here so you already know um, where where the open will be in the Kyushu Ashi which will be here exactly right and two weeks after open price of the Kyushu Ashi will be exactly here because the open of the uh, the previous was exactly here yeah so like this you continue to plot the open price of the future kyushu ashi and that's what you're gonna do first like this 
you know, so you, you know all these open and, yeah, I mean, open prices to the future up to nine weeks in this way. And then you monitor chart and let's say next week, let's say the market closes above the open price and you know what Kyushiashi it's going to be. That will be bullish Kyushiashi, right? If it closes above the Kyushiashi, it becomes bullish. If it closes below, that becomes bearish Kyushiashi, simply speaking. So, like I put the example on the next uh, diagram, it looks like this. If close or if it's above the Kyushiashi, that will be bullish. If close becomes bearish, that will become bearish Kyushiashi in the future. So, um, you know which Kyushiashi it's going to be by simply looking at the close of the week. And it actually saves a lot of time for you uh, to see if the weekly was bullish or bearish. And then after you do this, you observe the market and you're going to see like the, the chart like this way. So again, this is... Uh, there, are, there are some misalignments on this, but I hope you can get the, get the good idea, rough idea of uh, how Kyushiashi will look like in the future. L just like I mentioned below here, uh, let me just uh, do this. So yeah, so as you monitor chart in the future, next day, it became bullish. Right, uh, sorry, it became um, bearish, this red one is a bearish so it became a bearish candlestick and then for the next three weeks it became bullish and then the next one it became bearish kyushiashi and then three bullish kyushiashi are formed like this so as we monitor you can capture exactly uh how far the market has been uptrending and when it stops like this way but uh, yeah you can actually uh, plot these uh, you know future open prices and you can do that but also you can use the indicator I created and you can easily identify if the market is still bullish or bearish in a very simple way and that I will introduce on the next one which is over here chapter 4 Kyushu Ashi with Kihon Suchi market cycle. So this is actually the essence of Kyushu Ashi. Is that uh, so? Let's say the market has been up, and then afterwards the market went bearish. And as you see, the market has been bearish. You want to know when it most likely will stop downtrend and it becomes range or reverse. And to capture that, you use what we call a Kihon Suchi number. Kihon Suchi is a series of numbers which are 9 or 17 or 26 and 33 and 42 and 51 and so on. That's the series of Kyushu Ashi, uh, Kyushu Ashi's uh, Kihon Suchi number. So, in the first example, after you see this uh, blue bearish Kyushu Ashi, um, the market has been bearish and you want to know roughly when the market stops downtrend and most likely it happens on one of these uh, Kihon Suchi numbers. So in this case, this bearish Kyushiashi stopped on the 16th candle and 16 is very close to 17. So when you use the Kihon Suchi, it may not exactly on that number, but one or two Difference are acceptable. So in this case, 16 is very close to 17, and then afterwards, is, there was a um, bullish Kyushiashi, and then bearish and bullish. So you know that this was the range market, right? When you see bullish after bearish after bullish, it means that's a range market on the weekly time frame. And then after that, uh, it was range, and then from the red one, it continued to be red nine candles. So nine as Kihon Suchi, it stops here and then it became range again. And this area was range. 
and then next one the market has been down for the 17 bars if you count one by one it was exactly in the 17 17 as kihon suchi it stops here and then turns bullish for the next 17 bars and then there is there was a very small blue bar blue uh kyushiashi that means it stopped the uptrend for the 17 weeks and then from here it may range or it may continue to be up or down you monitor chart and expect roughly when the market stops up or down trend so like this again you monitor chart by this kushiashi indicator i introduced on the trade for the trading view you can apply this and check markets and roughly when the market turns you can capture that by the kushu by the kihon switch number and that's also the essence of the kushiashi so that's also introduced on this so actually there is more to it for example um in this turn like uh, there are some patterns in the turn pattern in the reverse from bullish to bearish there is something called the b pattern or y pattern and by looking at the patterns of the of the kyushu ashi you know whether this becomes a turn or acceleration of the trends even if you see this uh sometimes the market keeps going up and within the 17 weeks you will see the acceleration pattern and that means the market continuously go up or continuously go down this way so actually there are more to it actually on this kushiashi but in this video i just wanted to introduce the basic idea of the kushiashi so um uh, yeah, just free free to come to my web page and download the PDF and apply start apply and play with it with this uh Kushash indicator I introduced on the for the trading view. So click on this one, add it to your favorite, and start to use the Kushiashi. And if you want to know more about the Kushiashi, then you're always welcome to join my HMO community. And in my HMO community, I also wrote about the five lines, in-depth five lines analysis, and also the video on each chapter, and plus the quiz, you can find it on this uh, Ichimoku Basic Masterbook. And also I wrote Ichimoku Basic Theories book, which I introduced the three theories of Ichimoku, again, wave theory, and time theory, and price theory. So these are not the original book translations, but these are um, uh, my own uh, writings uh, in English. So hopefully uh, you can understand in-depth Ichimoku, and plus you have the Kyushiashi complete version, and also weekly membership and closed Discord group, Ichimoku custom indicators, and uh, analysis members only analysis and Q&A sessions and so on. We have many, many uh, plans in the Ichimoku community. So if you want to learn in-depth Ichimoku original teachings, Ichimoku community will be the one for you. But if you want to learn my original strategy, which is Ichimoku Kinko Hyo in multiple time frames and entry in the five minute and how to risk management, how to trial on two different positions and how when, when exactly set the break even how to risk management how to psychology management you're always welcome to join the gts that's where i talk about it and also i uh, share my trades also so that's the global trading school gts so again um that's a quick introduction of the kyushu ashi so i hope you enjoyed this uh, new information and start to apply the Kyushu Ashi um, strategy in your analysis. So let's say, so I have already a template. So Kyushu Ashi in trading will look like this. Let me do this on the here. So Kyushu Ashi looks like this in trading view. Uh, you just can't. After you apply the Kyushu Ashi indicator, uh, you see the overlap between Kyushu Ashi and the candlesticks. 
So you have to hide the candlesticks and you simply go up here and click on this eye. It says hide. Simply click on this one and you can hide the Kyushu Ashi. So this is gold daily chart, but you take the weekly and you see weekly chart, the market has been on the bearish Kyushu Ashi. So in terms of Kyushu Ashi, you know that this is bearish. Before it was bullish, but now it's bearish since the week of the 2nd of May. So at a glance, you know whether the market was bullish or bearish by the Kyushu Ashi like this. So um, yeah, I hope uh, you enjoy this video and uh, that apply the Kyushu Ashi strategies. But um, this is very simple. I mean, it's very simple, but very powerful. So whenever you want to use it, uh, please feel free to do it. And from now on, again, I will start to introduce some of the analysis by the Kyushu Ashi also. And uh, I hope uh, you continue to learn on the Ichimoku original strategies in my YouTube channel. So, yeah, I guess uh, I hope you have a great, great weekend and also a great day today. And uh, I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay cold. Right back now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.